Well, this is kind of worrisome, and it's, you know, you've come onto the podcast several times, the audio podcast, and talked about working on our log. Now, what's this going to do to our log? One of the arguments that was made by one of these coalitions was that this record-keeping requirement was going to be enough to put contractors out of business. I don't know where they got that information. There are, if you go on to any of like the Google Play or the iTunes, just like our log, there's a lot of apps out there that are $1.99 or $2.99 that handle all of this record keeping for you. They send the files to the pertinent email addresses. They store wherever you want to store it. There's pictures you take. It records everything for you, and they're $1.99 or $2.99. Now, all the people and companies that put money into development for those apps <clears throat> are going to lose big time because you're not going to be required to do any of that. For example, if you wrote an app that's set up to send the reports to the EPA to report this, this, and this, well, that email address isn't going to be active anymore because they're not taking reporting on that. So that part of the app is going to keep giving errors. They're going to have to reprogram or just get rid of scrap. I mean, our log would be, would be basically scaled down to whoever's using R22 and really reporting it. And then the rest of it wouldn't kick into place for another year under your best case scenario as far as tracking everything else? The best case scenario is yes. They say, listen, we're going to take a year. These leak rates are supposed to be phased in January 1st of 2019. And that is the leak rate uh, requirements, the repair requirements, and the record keeping requirements. There was two coalitions, mainly representing the industrial process refrigeration and uh, sector of the industry that had issues with this. And they filed petitions to not only undo the leak rates, but everything else, because they didn't, for whatever reason, I, I guess they say it financially affects them, all of it. I don't, I'm not sure how. But the best case scenario is rather than phasing it in this January, they take a year and work on it with the IPF and say, hey, listen, what is it about these regulations that's, you know, you say is costing you so much? Let's work on this and leave the rest of the regulations alone. So what I'm hearing is that this one section of the industry or our trade is going to affect the trade in its entirety with the right. lobby, so to speak. It is a lobby, so to speak. Yes, it is. So big parts of the industry lean on these guys. These guys crumble in the dark to try to appease them and hope they get away with it before anyone notices. That's what it seems like That's to me. Sure <laughs> down, yeah. With as little resistance as possible. Yeah, yeah. Get it by before they notice. If they notice afterwards, whatever, it's done already. <laughs> <laughs>